What's going on everybody? You get the Raging Rob here. I feel great today. Uh, so the Democratic debate last night, Beto O'Dork gets on camera and says that yes, we're going to take your AR-15. Yes, you're going to sell them to the government. He even says that he will personally go door to door and take our personal property. So there's this guy out here, a politician from Texas. I think he's from Texas. His name was uh, Briscoe Kane. Uh, I think he's in a Texas house. I don't think he's a congressman. He's in a, he's in a Texas house. But anyway, he says to Beto O'Rourke on Twitter, my AR-15 is ready. Well, there's a big shitstorm on Twitter right now about alleged threat towards Beto O'Rourke. You know who the real threat is? Beto O'Rourke is the real threat. He is a threat to our republic. He is a threat to gun owners like me. You know what you call somebody like that? A tyrant. I have handguns for carjackers, for, you know, to protect my home against burglars, carjackers, to protect my family. I have shotguns and rifles, to, you know, hunting rifles, to go hunting for food. I have certain guns for certain other things. And I also have an AR-15 AK-47. You know what those are for? Civil war? Civil unrest? And tyrants. Tyrants that want to disarm us. But O'Rourke, you are a tyrant. Our founding fathers warned us about people like you. As a matter of fact, our second amendment wouldn't really be, really, really be needed until they say we don't need it anymore. Now is the time that we really need it. When we got tyrants that want to be president and say, come, you know, first thing, give me your guns. That's why the second amendment was written for people like Beto O'Rourke. He's the real threat, not Briscoe Cain. And this isn't a threat. I'm not threatening violence or anything like that. I'm just saying, I'm just saying what I'm saying. Uh, Beto Rourke, he's the real threat. 